Facebook is under fire once again after announcing yet another data breach potentially affecting some 6.8 million people. In a blog post, the company said a bug may have exposed users' photos to third-party apps. European regulators say the company could face a multi-billion dollar fine for failing to protect user privacy. This is the latest in a series of data privacy problems affecting Facebook users. As Facebook continues to battle fallout, the company has released a new camera that's sophisticated enough to track you inside your home. It's called Facebook Portal and it allows you to chat with your friends. And if I go over here, the camera follows me, doesn't it? The device comes in two sizes and it's big enough to mount on a wall or prop up on a counter. Facebook says its smart camera automatically pans and zooms to keep everyone in view. The portal is available for pre-order and will cost as little as $200. As you can imagine, people on social media had a lot of feelings about this one. On Twitter, one person tweeted, Sorry Facebook, you're just not trustworthy anymore. In September, the social media giant announced a breach exposed personal information for 50 million users. And they're not the only tech company dealing with security issues. Google announced in October it's shutting down its Google Plus network after a breach exposed information for up to 500,000 customers. Within the past year, leaders from tech giants like Facebook, Twitter, and Google Google face lawmakers in Washington to answer questions about their companies. Some experts argue tech organizations like them have become so big that regulation is inevitable. Others believe the best innovations come when companies are untethered by laws and limitations and worry regulation could come in the way of free speech by filtering the information users access. Regardless of what ends up happening, experts say there are some easy steps you can take to make sure your private information is secure. First, make sure your operating system is up to date. Use two-factor authentication when possible, and make sure your computer's hard drive is encrypted so if it's ever stolen, the data inside remains secure. Losing control of your personal data online is one thing, and now losing control of your genetic data has also become a very real concern for anyone who's used one of those mega-popular DNA kits. Companies behind the so-called direct-to-consumer DNA test say they're able to reveal your ancestry, provide health information, and even coach you on workouts and how to eat. But they're also raising serious privacy concerns about customers' most personal data. One company, GED Match, proved instrumental in arresting suspected Golden State killer Joseph James D'Angelo back in April. Law enforcement ran a decades-old crime scene DNA sample through GED Match's database. That gave Sacramento County Sheriff's Department a sense of the suspect's family tree, eventually leading to the arrest. A study published in the journal Science last week found this technique is becoming faster, easier, and more popular with law enforcement agencies, simply because so many people are giving their DNA away in these at-home tests. There are also concerns that companies will start mining customers' genetic information for profit. Earlier this year, drug company GSK announced it's investing $300 million in 23andMe. They plan to comb through genetic information for drug development and to identify candidates for clinical trials. The Federal Trade Commission has posted some tips for people thinking about taking one of these DNA tests. They say most companies offer an array of options of how public your information will be, so choose your privacy settings carefully. Hacks happen, so make sure you recognize the risks of unauthorized companies getting access to your genetics. And if you think a genetic testing company isn't living up to their promises, make sure to let the FTC know. Coming up, Alfonso Ribeiro is the latest celebrity to sue the makers of the hit video game, Fortnite. 